welcome back to my channel it's your girl elda and you already know if this is your first time tuning in i welcome you with love hugs and kisses Mwah. but to be my cousin right right i need you to hit the subscribe button right right and i need you to hit that bell right right then i need you to light up the comment section with hashtag dot cousin gay and you'll officially be my cousin those of you that's been rocking with your girl you already know how we get down what's up cousin what's up for me what's up baby you already know we be live welcome back 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 welcome back back hey so you already know y'all let's cook and chat all right what we gonna talk about today depression okay and how i deal with depression let's go Yo, gang gang you already know so as i was saying i wanted us to have a conversation on how i deal with depression all right if you haven't watched that vlog yet where i did open up about depression then i need you to click the link in the description and go ahead and check it out okay because long story short i talk about how i realized i was depressed and how i am a believer of jesus christ he is my lord and personal savior okay shout out to jesus yes glory to god for sending his only begotten son okay but um i also believe in therapy and at that time i did open up about you know going to um get a therapist and stuff like that so watch the vlog it's in the description okay get caught up all right so y'all a couple of days ago there we go a couple of days ago i was um I don't want to say a couple of days. For weeks, I've been feeling sluggish. I've been feeling unproductive. Uh, I've been feeling lazy. And I've been feeling a series of things. But it is a couple of days ago, I had to be real with myself and realize that I fell back into depression. All right? It's either... But this time it was different because normally um, eating is my form of comfort, okay? So it's either I was eating too much or I was barely eating, okay? And I'm like, okay. In the moments I felt like I was barely eating, I was like, okay, I need to go on a fast. That's, you know, like I strongly believe I need to go on a fast. However, when I came to that conclusion, When I came to that conclusion um, that, you know, like I'm finally in depression, I was just like, I gotta get out of it. Now, you gotta know, one thing I've come to realize, you gotta know your trigger points. You gotta know, you got and you gotta sit there, you really have to evaluate, you have to analyze, and you have to figure out what got you to that point, okay? And y'all, y'all seen the previous vlogs about what I, what I, where I did about, you know, I'm hurt and stuff like that. I'll put that in the description box as well. But for the past couple of months, I just feel like I've just been going through one situation after another and not really catching a break. And where my error was, I was praying, but I wasn't praying consistently. Okay? I wasn't praying consistently. I just you know, I'll do that one good cry out and then, you know, like just say I'll do, yeah, one or two good cry outs and then the rest will be like a quick drive-by prayer or a routine prayer. You know, Lord, I commit my day unto you. I buy this, I buy that, I lose this, I lose that, and I do my affirmations. If I did my affirmations. That was another thing I realized. I wasn't affirming myself. I wasn't affirming my environment. I was affirming, I was not affirming my atmosphere. I was not using the authority that God has given me. So I had to analyze what was going on and what got me to that point. 
And sometimes you can go through, you can be going through these situations back, back to back to back to back that it causes you to shut down. Where you feel like you can't even talk no more. Where you feel like you can't even speak no more. And for some people, it shut it shut them up in, in, in the realm of the spirit concerning prayer. Or it shut their, their worship up. It's, it's however how you flow. You get what I'm saying? And for my non-believers, listen, whatever, whatever, it pushes you to shut down. Or to shut up. Okay? Because y'all call it law of attraction and all this other stuff. Listen, the word of God says... All these things that be not as though they were. Okay? But anyways, so it pushed me to a point where I just I wasn't really praying. I wasn't, I wasn't, I, it was hard for me to worship, hard for me to really flow in prayer because I was so consumed by everything that was going on. And it pushed me to a place where um I fell back into depression. And I got and now I'm, you know, I got back to a point where it's like I'm tired of feeling like this, you know, the pain in my body, um, feeling sluggish, feeling, you know, just eh, like just eh. So, this is how I started to deal with what was going on. One, I had to acknowledge what was wrong with me. I had to acknowledge what was wrong with me and what was going on. Like, I had to be real with self. I had to take the mask off, okay? Um, and stop trying to justify and make excuses. So, one, I'm going to say, acknowledge where you at. All right? Two was, I had to ask myself, what got me here? Okay? Because when you're walking and you trip and you fall, okay? Listen, you're going to look back or you're going to look down and you're going to see what has caused you to trip, to fumble or whatever the case is. Because why? So that you know you can avoid it moving forward. All right. So I had to figure out what has brought me to that point. All right. So when you. All right. So when you, you got to um, figure out where it was that you tripped and fell so that you can avoid it. All right. So I acknowledge where I was. I was able to pinpoint what has got me to that point. All right. What has got me to that point. What I have stopped doing in the process. And then, you know, I began to create a strategy. And now what I'm going to do later on once I'm done purging. I'm one of those guys when I get my thoughts together I like super clean my house even though my house is already clean but yeah anyways y'all get the point so um yeah and so you know I'm gonna you know there's some scriptures you know I know by heart that I'm able to quote and I'm going to you know look into some more scriptures um and yeah so what I did was I told my family from Thursday night, I told them in, in our group chat, um, I was just like, listen, you guys, I'm dealing with depression and self-care is truly important, okay? It is truly important. So I told them, I'm gonna get ghost. So if y'all don't see me in the group, just know I'm okay. Um, don't call me, don't text me, don't look for me. If it's not an emergency, um, you know, don't contact me. Just let me rock. Like I said, I'm okay. So I let them know that they did not listen. They hit me with that. We do not care. But some of them did call me or text me just to make sure I was okay. Because they never, they never really seen me um, in that place. And I was like, I don't want to keep giving people attitude because of how I'm feeling and what I got going on. Okay. So with that being said, so I let them know from Thursday. Um, not to contact me. I came up off of social media. Okay. I came up off of social media. And what I did was. I'm off of social media. Well, I'm back on by the time y'all see this. But so from Thursday up until, until Monday morning. I was off of social media. Why? Because sometimes when you are in depression. Um, 
or you're dealing with something. Hold on. All right. What y'all think I should do? Y'all think I should put a curtain over this? Like, I'm really debating. Because sometimes when I'm going to record, it's the light going against me. And, yeah. But, anyways. Um... Yeah, so I came up off of social media, and the reason I came up off of social media is because I'm not a jealous person, I'm not an envious person. I celebrate everybody, okay? I, so I truly, genuinely support people, okay? But sometimes, when you do see the success of other people, and if you're like myself, where you're constantly checking yourself, or you're constantly trying to make sure that you keep a pure heart in things, you know what I'm saying? Or, once again, as I stated earlier, you know, I wasn't being productive. I was, you know, like just lazy. So it makes, it's going to make me feel a certain way concerning myself. Like, what are you doing? So that was sending me and I began to beat myself up. So that was sending me deeper into depression. So what I did, I came up off of social media. Okay. So I came up off of social media. All right. So that I wouldn't have to compare um, my success or, you know, feel some type of way. Because if I feel like I'm not going to be able to celebrate you, baby, Elder's going to go crawl in a hole, go crawl in the space, and get her whole life together, okay? Because like I said, I am not a jealous person, neither am I envious, okay? So I didn't want to have to go through that, 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 that place where I was going to start beating up myself, okay? We was not going to do that, not, mm -mm, no, sir. No sir, no ma'am, okay? No sir, no ma'am. So I came up off of social, um, so I came up off of social media, all right? So I contacted my family and my close friends, those that are close to me, all right? People I know who can pray me through or speak over my life, um, or speak life over my life, okay? They already know who they are, they flowing in prayer, okay? Um, so I contacted my family, I contacted my friends, let them know I'm going in a hole, okay? Um, it came up off of social media, all right? And then what I also did is begin to do things that will uplift my spirit, all right? I got my hair done because I, I didn't get my hair done for a, a minute, okay? Um, so I got my hair done, I got my nails did, um, you know, I, I, I was mindful of how I showed up or how I got ready for myself, all right? Um, my daughter, um, I let her, She, of course she goes with her father every weekend, so of course I had to take advantage of that as well, okay? Because I didn't even wanna be giving my daughter attitude, y'all, like for real, for real. All right, so then after that, um, you know, like I said, good music, good vibes, you know, I just surround myself and or just created what i call a positive environment i wrote down new goals things i want to get done what i need to do moving forward so that i can get back on my a game now listen what was most important through everything that i have done so far which is acknowledge where i'm at um acknowledge where i'm at figured out where i tripped and fell um you know separated myself from people and social media for a little minute um, because yeah it was friends and family that was also bringing that pressure not necessarily you know when you're a prophetic person or what you know the world might call empath you know you begin to carry people or you begin to feel a certain type of way and sometimes it's not you so this is why I had to kind of separate myself from you know people for a uh, for a couple of days I, I couldn't be peopling at this moment because of the condition of my mind so then um yeah so i separate myself and then um i cried out to god like bro when i said i took the mask off like whoosh, mask off okay because to the world we could be superwoman we could be superman but in the presence of god you are clark kent okay once again to the world you could be superman to the world okay but in the presence of god you are clark kent and that's what I had to do. I had to cry out to God. I had to let God know where, you know, like, like, <laughs> daddy, what's up? <laughs> daddy, like, Abba, I need your Abba. So, travailed. 
And when I felt that thing break up off of me, I had to rebuke it, okay? I had to rebuke depression. I had to rebuke doubt. I had to rebuke confusion. I had to rebuke fear. I had to rebuke anxiety because it is not my portion. So now I'm back in a place where I've got my voice back and I'm able to, to, to speak. I'm able to bind. I'm able to loose. I'm able to use my authority because for a second, just for a second, your girl forgot who she was. Okay. And who daughter she is. So with that being said, this is how I deal with depression. I had to clap back, okay? I had to clap back with a praise. I had to clap back with a worship. I had to clap back with authority, okay? Listen, because at the end of the day, we don't let no female, we don't let no dude corner us and beat on us, so we cannot let the enemy do it, okay? Because like I always say, and like the word of God says, excuse me, the word of God says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, okay? So we had to bind the second up. Praise the Lord, somebody. But all right now. So that is how your girl deals with depression. Is it easy? No, but I know me. I know what I like. Y'all, I went out to eat by myself your girl ain't scared to eat by herself and i know y'all probably like well where y'all do that listen he's he's he prayed for me and he and he affirmed me okay but this is this this had nothing to do with him and that's what we got to understand there are times where people cannot do anything for you but pray and speak life into your life okay because it's just a matter of you opening up your mouth, you crying out, you acknowledging, and you getting tired, all right? You know you tired when you, when you do something about it, all right? It ain't no more complaining. It ain't no more talking. It ain't none of that, all right? Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? Now I'm going to drain the water out of the needles. I'm sorry, I didn't even be giving y'all what I be doing. But y'all get it. Y'all made pasta before. Okay, y'all made pasta before. Let me be great. And then that was another reason why I'm like, I'm cut today because depression will have you spending money senselessly. Like, it don't make no sense. You ain't even need that thing. So I'm officially done cooking. All right, because like I said, once you get a quitter, all right, now what I'm about to do is finish. I don't know how some people do it, but I got my I clean as I go. And by the time I'm done cooking, my kitchen is clean. So I don't have to worry about it. Which gets, which is like, not cool because then that don't need nothing for hubby to do like you know how you won't cook won't wash the dishes by the time he get here dish everything clean so you gotta clean as you go anyways all right let's go wrap this up on the couch let's all right so this is how i deal with depression like I said, you guys, I evaluate, I look at everything. When I say create positive atmosphere or positive vibes, you know, I pay uplifting music, um, whether praise and worship or, you know, music that's going to make me dance, that's going to make me move, um, you know, watch a good movie or something that's going to make me laugh or, you know, something that's going to feed me, um, you know, like something educational, Something that's just going to uplift me when I mean by create positive vibes or I surround myself um, around people. If I need to, if I feel like I'm too, 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 too low, then I will surround myself around people. I know that would uplift me. Um, I go out to eat. Like I said, I went out to eat the other night. I went to one of my favorite um, spots down here in South Florida. I haven't been there in a minute. It's called Spazio. It's like an Italian cuisine. So they had live music. Um... 
do I have a clip? I'll probably show a clip at the end. Um, so yeah, you know, um, so now it's Sunday, the house is clean. I still gotta do a house tour, y'all. A furnished house tour. But I'm kinda iffy about it. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So now I'm just sitting on the couch. My candles are lit. Um, I have fresh flowers in the house. Um, let's see. See, I got fresh flowers. And I have some on the... I have some on the patio as well, but I don't feel like getting up. So I'm gonna sit here for a couple of minutes, affirm myself, breathe, allow my mind to rest, okay? And then I'm gonna go get baby girl. But I do want to know, cousin, cousin, I wanna know how do you deal with depression? Are you even dealing with it? Um, do you believe that you are depressed like because we got to be real with ourselves and sometimes we're in denial so i want to know how do you deal with depression go ahead and comment below how do you deal with depression and i also want you to comment what were you able to take away from this cooking chat with me on how i deal with depression like what were you able to take away from it but cuzzle i love you for me i want you to stay blessed i want you to be encouraged i want you to remember that you lack nothing okay you are beautiful you are handsome you are thriving you are elevating you are increasing and i don't want you to allow what is going on before you in the natural to cause you to doubt god what he has shown you in the realm of the spirit that you are awaiting to manifest okay but just know at the end of the day baby Cause oh, for me, my for me, you got victory on every side. Yeah.